Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the detailed explanation of the poem A Christmas Wish. And along with that we are going to read out the poem. But before I start, please click on the subscribe button for more such videos every week. So let's begin. A Christmas Wish by Eugene Field Eugene Field was an American writer best known for children's poetry and his humorous essays. He was known as the poet of childhood. His popular poems are Winken, Blinken and Nod and The Duel. Let us read out the poem now. A Christmas Wish by Eugene Field I would like a stocking made for a giant and a meeting house full of toys. Then I'd go out on a happy hunt for the poor little girls and boys. Up the street and down the street and across and over the town, I would search and find them everyone before the sun went down. One would rather want a new jackknife sharp enough to cut. One would long for a doll with hair and eyes that open and shut. One would ask for a china set with dishes all to her mind. One would wish a Noah's Ark with beasts of every kind. Some would like a doll cook stove and a little toy washed up. Some would prefer a little drum for a noisy rubber dub. Some would wish for a storybook and some for a set of blocks. Some would be wild with happiness over a new toolbox. And some would rather have little shoes and other things warm to wear. For many children are very poor and the winter is hard to bear. I would buy soft flannels for little frocks and a thousand stockings or so. And the jolliest little coats and cloaks to keep out the frost and snow. I'd load a wagon with caramels and candy of every kind and buy all the almond and pecan nuts and taffy that I could find. And barrels and barrels of oranges I'd scatter right in the way so the children would find them the very first thing when they wake on Christmas Day. That's a nice poem. See, Christmas is the spirit of giving without a thought of getting. It is happiness because we see joy in people. It is forgetting self and finding time for others, isn't it? Now let us read the poem in details. This poem talks about the beauty of giving in Christmas festival. The children have a belief in Christmas that Santa would come and fulfill their wishes. So the poet begins by saying, that he would like a very long stocking and a house full of toys. Then he says that he wants to search all across and over the town and find poor little girls and boys so that he could give them gifts of their choice. The poet wants to be the Santa in their life. He goes on talking about what the poor little girls and boys would want. Well, one would want a jackknife. Jackknife is a kind of a folding knife which is uh, very sharp to cut things. One would want a beautiful doll with eyes that open and shut and, a, and with a long beautiful hair. One child would ask for a dish, particularly a china set because the child loves to collect the dishes or maybe longs for one such set and it is always in her mind. One would wish for a ship in which Noah and his family with pairs of animals sailed and saved themselves from the great flood. Some children would want a cooking stove and a tub to wash his toys. Some children would prefer a drum which would make a lot of noise and some who love to read books would wish for a storybook and some for playing with the set of blocks. 
and and few children would go mad with happiness when they get a new toolbox which they always longed for many children are very poor so he would buy little shoes and something warm for them to wear he would buy soft flannels or soft warm clothes and little stockings and coats and cloaks for them so that they do not feel cold anymore in the winter month in a wagon or we can say a small carriage he would carry caramels and candy of different kinds and also buy almond pecan nuts and also taffy and in a barrel what is a barrel it is a cylindrical container he would carry oranges and scatter on the way the poor little children when they wake up in the morning they can find them very easily which would be scattered on the way and have the best christmas which the poet wished for so this is all about the poem that is a wonderful poem written by the brilliant writer so do you want to help anyone in this christmas too do let me know in the comments below see you next week thank you